Hey, 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 Facebook. Happy Monday to you. I am sitting in a chair in the shop because I had to get out of the house and um, I've got a lot of stuff to do. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to go down and take care of it, but I can't move very well. My back is hurting pretty bad today. So um, we're in the shop. Hey, if you're watching live, type live. If you're watching this on replay, type replay. If you're watching on YouTube, I promise I will get them all downloaded. I'm working on a new system and maybe it will do it automatically for me. Um, hoping in the next couple weeks that that'll actually happen. So I won't have to spend the hours that it takes to actually do the download into YouTube. So today, what's in a name? What's that mean? What's that have to do with plumbing, right? We all know that there's brand names out there. Some brand names are better than others. Um, some are you know, cheaper and made not in the United States, and some are made right here locally in the United States. Some are making, made locally in Wyoming, and some aren't. So what's in a name? Does it really matter? When you go to the store, do you buy generic? Do you buy brand name? What do you do? And is there a difference? So when you think about food, a lot of times I'll go to Walmart and I'll buy the big bag of cereal. It's not a brand name. It's the Walmart special stuff. The big bags, you know what I'm talking about. The Fruit Loops, but they're not Fruit Loops. <laughs> the uh, Lucky Charms, but they're not Lucky Charms. They're Mateys or something like that. <laughs> so that's what I'm talking about. Today in plumbing, we have a lot of brands out there. Thousands, hundreds of thousands of brands in different things from ranging from toilets to sewer equipment.